Ok, now let's power on the IPTV combine for the first time. We'll have to wait a couple of minutes for it to boot up. Then we'll have to set up its network interface. After it boots up, it will ask to press enter to do that for about 5 seconds. But if you miss that, just press the function key and then press enter to enter the network setup menu. Now you can press up and down to select the network interface that you wish to configure. I am going to configure the first network interface, so I just press enter. Now press function and then press up or down to go to the next or previous number. Press up or down without pressing the function key to increase or decrease the current value. After you finish setting up the IP address, press enter and set up the subnetwork mask. Press enter when you finished and press enter again to confirm the changes. When you finish the setup, plug in the network cable. I actually ended up recording the second part of the setup process with another combine, so the IP address will be different. Ok, now open a web browser and enter the combine's IP address. Use the default username and password to log in. It says that it can connect to the database, that's because we haven't uploaded the license file yet. And it also says that we must upload that file. But let's start with upgrading to the latest version of the firmware. First, we'll need an FTP client to upload the new firmware. I'll use WinSCP. I enter the combine's IP address. The username is update. And password is the same as the administrator's password. Now click login, browse to the directory where you have the firmware and copy it to your combine. After that, you can close the FTP client and go to the update page of the web interface. Here you can see the new firmware, click on it and click install. Ok, now it shows that we have the latest firmware installed. But the installation process is not finished yet, the combine now has to reboot, so we'll have to wait a couple more minutes before we can log into the web interface. As we log in, we see that we have the latest firmware, but we still need to upload that license file. Go to the license page, click Upload license, then click Choose file, browse to and select the license file that you've downloaded in the customer's area, click Open, then click Upload. And now we have the license. Now let's log in again to make sure that we don't see any warnings and our combine is set up and ready to work.